Good morning everybody. Happy Sunday. It is Sunday the 10th of December and George and I have got a very very exciting day today. We are going to York um, which is a 45 minute trip from where we live so it's a bit further north um, and it's a beautiful beautiful city. If, if those of you who don't live in the UK um, don't know York, well, you're in for a treat today. Hopefully, if it's not raining. <laughs> um, we have booked afternoon tea at Betty's Tea Rooms as our Christmas present. We were, well, I asked George what he wanted for Christmas or what he would like for Christmas this year. And he his, his known response is always, I don't need anything, I'm fine, I don't know, I don't know, I don't, want anything, blah, blah, blah. So I thought, right, I said, how about instead of a physical gift, we take each other out and do something? That would be quite nice. So um, I said, I had a look around and I said, oh, what if we go for afternoon tea at Betty's in York? Because we can get there quite easily, we can walk to the tea rooms, and the afternoon tea is not actually that expensive. So that's what we're doing as our Christmas present 2023. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that, and I'm, I'm gonna take all of you lot along with me. I'm not taking my camera, I'm going to film on my phone. So the the quality should be really good actually because the camera on my phone is really good now. Um, so yeah, I, that'll be really great. We're having an Ocado food delivery delivered today. Should be between 8 and 9 but I've had a message to say that they're running 30 minutes late and I have contacted them now this time because this is the third week that they've been late and I know certain situations cannot be helped and the weather hasn't been very good here but I don't know, I've just been, I feel a bit let down with Ocado recently because um, they're meant to be, you know, a premium food delivery service and every week we've ordered, they've always been late. So I've contacted them, so I'll let you know what they say. Um, I feel quite puffy today in the face, but George did an amazing dinner last night. I was working yesterday and he made a beef stir fry and it was so delicious, but we had prawn crackers, we had spring rolls, we had um, chicken gyoza, so I feel like I'm full of water, so I need to drink some water today. Um, it's absolutely pitch black outside, but I'm going to go out and get some logs for the fire for this morning because if we are waiting down here for Ricardo between eight and nine, it gets quite cold in our front room because it's quite an old, like I said, our house is a 1930s, house build so it's solid brick it's so beautiful I love my house so much but it can get quite cold we don't have radiators in the front room either because we have the fire so I'm going to go get some logs for the fire so that'll be good so yeah I really really hope you enjoy this vlog today I am going to extend it into tomorrow as well because tomorrow we are making <clears throat> the final part of our Christmas gifts and that is chocolate orange fudge. I cannot take any credit for this recipe, I found my friend tagged me on Instagram um, so I don't take any credit for this but I'm so excited. Do it all in the slow cooker, it's going to be really messy but hopefully it'll be worth it, fingers crossed. So that is gonna be the final gift for people's um, feeling. Oh no, I am making cookies, but um, I haven't got any parchment paper, which is annoying. Although I could use tinfoil, I suppose, but really need parchment paper, I think, for cookies. Anyway, I'm stalling. I've got a mountain of washing up to put away because we washed up last night, but we just leave it to dry here. So I have to put all that away sort everything out, do my eye stuff, that might help with my face, my ice face bath. Make a coffee, go, well first things first, I'm going to go and get some wood. I would film going to get some wood, but I mean, as you can see, it is literally, it's, hello, it's pitch black, you can't see anything out there. So, yeah, I'm gonna go out and get some wood, and then, 
come back and do my morning routine. So let's go and enjoy. I'll be back with you when Ocado's been. Hello, I'm back really quickly. I've just done my ice face dunk and oh, it feels so much better. My face is already starting to deep off, which is really good. I just wanted to show you my Christmas pajamas. Oh wait, let's, I think this lighting will be a bit better. These are so cute. I have three pairs of, well, I have two Christmas, Christmas, like festive pajamas and one like winter pajama set, but I love this bit on the sleeve and look how cute the little pattern is. It's also like a um, fleece material, like a brushed cotton, really cozy and comfy. Um, I normally buy my clothes and things from Vinted, but I saw this in our local garden center and it was reduced from 28 pounds to 19. So, it's got a cute little pocket. I love them. I love them so much. Definitely don't tumble dry them. That's all I can say. Anyway, I've made my coffee. Now I'm going to be the biggest child known to mankind, even though I'm almost 34, and go and um, select my chocolate from our advent calendar. George's mum made this advent calendar and it's so cute. Let me show you it. Here's our advent calendar. Oh, I just tripped over the music stool. This is our advent calendar. And it's so adorable. So she made, she sewed all of these together and then did these little tags. And then, so we have this every year now. And it's so cute. And we put a Kinder chocolate in. So I'm just going to stand you here. Oh. Number 10. <laughs> it's great. I love it. I'm a big child. I'm not about to deny it. George also, he has one too. We both have one because we're big children. But why not? Why should advent calendars only be for children? <sighs> love our tree so much. And I'm going to light a fire in a bit as well. There are all the logs I got from outside. Um, George, I'm going to say we, but when I say we, I mean the royal key. Um, George chops the wood for us. And yeah, so I'm going to go and have my coffee now and enjoy my little morning before Cardo arrives. Well, I haven't plans changed dramatically. We had our Ocado shop that was all successful and he was on time, which was nice. But we're not going to York anymore because the trains have been cancelled due to disruption on the rail lines, which George and I were really, really, really sad about because this was, is he coming down there? No. This was our joint Christmas present to one another. And we've been looking, we booked it like over a month, two months ago, and we've been looking forward to it ever since. So. No, we can't go now. So we've been sad all morning and we've now just brushed it under the carpet. There's nothing we can do about it. So we're going to do go to York for afternoon tea as a joint birthday present for one another next year. And as our little Christmas treat, post pre-Christmas treat, we're going to go to the local pub up the road for, dun for lunch. I was gonna say dinner, but no, we're going to go for lunch. So, which will be equally as lovely because I was just really looking forward to spending quality time with my husband doing something that doesn't involve sitting at home in joggers. So, that's what we're doing. <laughs> what a change, what a change. And yes, I'm still really disappointed about Betty's because I was really looking forward to it. But there's no point just getting sad about it. Might as well just move on and continue about our day. So I'm going to go because our booking is at half past 12. It's currently 22, 12 and I need to get ready. So you might see some footage on my phone. We are gonna bike there, which will be fun. Um, and yeah, so I might take some footage in the pub. We'll see, but I've got to go. Hello, so we're home now. We've just got back um, from the local pub that we went to and um, Oh, Arthie! Arthie! <laughs> He's so pretty! 
pretty. Are you a pretty boy? He is so handsome. He's so handsome. Um, where are you going? Go there, look. Um, yeah, and we actually walked home. So that was really nice. It took half an hour, um, but it was nice just to be in the fresh air and spend time with George and we didn't leave Arthie for too long, which was nice as well, isn't it? Yeah, don't attack me, don't attack me. So yes, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hoover the house and make a hot drink, probably some sort of herbal tea because I'm so full, I'm so full, yeah. And then I think I'm going to run a bath. Also, we got a notification from the train line to say that our train has been cancelled or was cancelled. So even if it had been delayed and we wanted to go to York, we couldn't have gone anyway. So when we get our refund back from the train tickets, when we get our money back, then we are going to save that money and rebook our afternoon tea at Betty's next year in April, exactly halfway between George's birthday and my birthday, and that is what we're going to do. So yeah, I still had a really lovely time with my George, and we've got £20 each left of our Christmas money to spend on each other. So sometimes these things can't be helped, and you can't really do anything about it, and it's about spending time with the people you love the most, as opposed to extravagant things you know so just going to the local pub with George and then walking home was perfect for me I absolutely loved it so yeah with that I'm going to transfer this footage over to my laptop and probably start editing this video um, we walked past Sainsbury's and I should have gone in and got some parchment paper I knew there was something so I might pop out quickly and go get some and then come back I might do that because then I won't have to go tomorrow which would be great I can stay at home tomorrow so yeah with that being said I'm going to go and I will probably catch up with you all either later or tomorrow now so I'm sorry it's not been as entertaining as I had hoped but what can you do nothing not a lot well this has been a very interesting Monday everybody I had big plans also sorry for the background noise our bedroom is adjacent to the to the main road not main road but a road anyway um yes yeah, so last night after well after we'd been to the pub for lunch yesterday came home and it was all fine that's what you last saw then last night sunday night i was up all night poorly i'm not going to go into details because you could probably guess what was wrong with me but yes, I saw every hour from 11pm until 3, 4am. So I have literally been in bed all day. I had a, sh a bath and washed my hair because it just you always feel better once you've washed my hair. I also washed the pillowcases. Not that they were dirty, but just to have something nice and fresh to come to bed with today. Uh, tonight rather. And I didn't want to wash the whole bedding because I just... I haven't had any energy whatsoever. George has been a complete saint and he's done me lots of rounds of toast or some toast and for my dinner I actually had a little sweet potato because um, I'm sticking to the brat diet for the next couple of days and if you don't know what the brat diet is I'm sure a lot of you will know what it is but it's basically to help when you've had an upset tummy. And well, we won't go into any more than that. Um, Arthur has been my little shadow all day today. He has literally been here curled up with me all day. Ah, good boy. And yeah, we've just been watching TV and sleeping all day. Um, so it's probably actually what my body needed. So yeah, didn't go to York yesterday. Went to the pub then came home and potentially something didn't agree with me and was up all night so I don't know what you can call that really but it is what it is and I'm feeling a lot better now I've also been drinking fresh ginger in hot water so that's ginger root in hot water and honestly it has made such a difference I've been drinking that all day today it's made such a difference so yeah, just thought I'd check in and uh, the next time you'll see me will probably be Thursday. Now, I'm really hoping that I can get this video up on Sunday, um, but if I can't, 
then it will be the following weekend but I'm really hoping that I can I might edit part of this video either tonight or tomorrow actually because I have got footage on here I'm also going to include me making my soy wax wraps as part of my Christmas present for people so you'll see that in the next clip too so it's been a bit of an all over the place vlog really but this is life isn't it life isn't always completely plain sailing so yeah anyway I'm going to stop talking now and just have a relaxing evening seven o'clock and I'm going to get an early night and pray that I sleep through the whole night so I'll catch up with you all on Sunday where uh, Thursday rather when we are going to be making more Christmas gifts and it'll be fun and lovely okay bye hello everyone so it's me in a voiceover I do apologize for my voice I'm getting over a cold but I'm feeling much better which is great but here we are making some homemade soy wax wraps so you'll need some material of choice parchment paper and wax of your choice you can use beeswax and you can also use soy wax which is what I've used you cut the parchment paper to just over the size of the material that you're using so it can be fully covered by both pieces of parchment paper as you are seeing just here so this is what it should look like and then I'll just move that candle out of the way and then you get your ironing board and your iron and you use some wax so this is um soy wax that i've got it's already chopped up i want to say but it's already prepared so i just scatter the wax over the material and then place the parchment paper on top that is when the magic happens you then get your iron and you gently press it down onto the parchment paper on top of the material with the wax and the wax essentially melts into the material and once it's dried it turns into these amazing wax wraps I made three different color variations there's a green a blue a red and a white and basically that is as easy as it makes so they can be used to wrap up food sandwiches I'm also going to be making some to wrap some cookies in later this week so you'll see that again but a really great essential for homemade Christmas presents and easy hello everyone it is the next day now it is Tuesday I'm feeling a lot better well I'm feeling better than I was feeling and I'm actually going to help future me because I was going to film this part of the video on Thursday but I'm actually going to film it today and that is making my chocolate truffles cannot take uh, credit for the recipe I found the recipe on Instagram now I know that I'm not on Instagram throughout December however I will have to access Instagram for this video so that is the only thing I'm doing. I don't check my notifications or my messages. I'm literally just checking the recipe. Arthi, don't be naughty. Right, so it's apparently really easy and simple. You put everything into a slow cooker. Bless you, Arthi. Like that. It just looks so good. And then you fridge it and then that's it. So what I'm going to do is she's done them in quite big chunks. Now I'm going to half mine so people have like little bites of the truffle. So yeah, I also need to cook some chicken. Um, and that's it. Now I'm not going to put the truffles in their little jars yet. I might make the little tags to go on the jars, but I oh know I've already done that. I think I've already done that. Okay. Um, but I am going to make the truffles today. And then the last thing I need to do is make some cookies. Now I've got to make a batch of cookies for Friday because my mum, I'm exchanging Christmas presents with my mum. But then I'll need to make another batch of cookies next week, closer to Christmas, because then I'm seeing other family members so I can give it to them so the cookie stay is fresh for as long as possible. So for this part of the video, I'm going to pop you all on a time lapse and do it 
whilst watching a YouTube video, funny thing, um, because I'm still, I don't have a lot of energy, so I don't think I could talk you through it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to have some nice jolly music whilst I make this these chocolate truffles. Let's see how they turn out. My slow cooker is going to be so filthy, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> And we have made the chocolate fudge. I'm actually really happy with it. I did, George and I did sample, there was a bit on our wooden spoon. We did sample a little bit and it does have that consistency of fudge. And it was really easy. If you don't have a slow cooker, the recipe says you can melt the chocolate in the microwave, just to do it in short increments. But that was really easy and it's going to be making really lovely little Christmas gifts. So I'm so chuffed about that and I don't, I oh know I do need to, I do need to make cookies as well because I think I've put that in their little Christmas, in their little, I've done every each person a little itinerary of what's in their Christmas box and I'm pretty sure I said cookies but the problem is with the cookies is that if I, I can't put the cookies in with the fudge, the same jar, so I might have to think of a plan B for that. I've just made myself some fresh ginger tea which since having a poorly tummy I've been addicted to it's so calming and relaxing and soothing but I do have two pieces of Terry's chocolate orange left over so I am going to enjoy those and I'm going to go upstairs have a look at the Christmas boxes of what I've got in them I've also bought people some candles I'll show you what I've got actually because like I mentioned I don't think any of my family my immediate family members watch my videos so showing you what I bought them for Christmas is actually fine it doesn't really matter also do you like my Christmas apron <laughs> so cute so it doesn't matter me showing you what I've made for people because they don't watch it which is fine so I'm going to tie my hair back up just while we go through the boxes and I might have a look at the cards that I've done and rewrite, oh no because I am still going to make cookies, I'll just, I could wrap them in parchment paper and wrap them up with Christmas string, festive string that I do have upstairs, oh that didn't work at all did it, absolute fail. My hair, I washed my hair yesterday so it's so soft, so trying to put it up. I should have a hair bubble, but that'll do. Right, let's go upstairs and have a look in the Christmas box and see where we can put things. Right, we are now upstairs and hopefully you can see this. These are going to be the Christmas boxes. Now, I'm going to be wrapping them up in wrapping paper. So they'll be done up like that and then they'll be covered in wrapping paper with a ribbon so that is how they're going to be and they're just this they're not very big boxes i'd say they're small to medium but they're perfect size to fit all these little bits in so everyone has a card with what they have inside of their christmas gift box yep they <laughs> do yep then i'm also going to put in a candle and to me this signifies or this means light, like light shows you the way, like the North Star and things like that. And I just thought it was just going to be a really, it's a really nice touch to have a candle. I think they 
are really special at Christmas time. So I've got candles for everybody. I've made, oh, I've got my homemade jam that I think you, you've seen me make. So yeah, they've got a pot of homemade jam, like a little pot. They have got a homemade, um, slightly interesting looking bauble. Each person has a bauble. Then we decorated a plant, these little plant pots. They were terracotta plant pots, but then I decorated them. George helped me draw this the American flag on because my father-in-law is American, so which is George's dad. So he helped me draw this flag on. Um, so hopefully he likes that. So that's cute. This is the jar that the fudge is going to go into. Now the cookies will not go in here. Even though I have got cookies on here, they will be separate in in here um, because I don't. I want the fudge to stay as fresh as possible. So that I'll have homemade fudge. Um, I. <laughs> This is quite comical. I found these rocks at my aunt's and I thought, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna paint Christmas trees on these rocks and just put them as like decorative rocks. <laughs> Very random. Each person has two coasters. So I made these coasters using um, air dry wax and paint and dried flowers from Amazon. I found this on an Instagram post that I saw. They are fairly wonky but they're homemade so that's the special thing about them. And then finally everyone has some wax wrap homemade, wa wait, soy wax wraps homemade in festive so they can wrap their cookies in here or their fudge. Um, yeah so that is basically their homemade gifts and now i'm going to put on a movie and rest because i've got work tomorrow and i want to ensure that i am well enough for work which i will be i don't feel i don't feel bad i was able to go out today and i've been able to do things so i'm definitely well enough for work tomorrow but i am now going to rest it's 20 past one I don't have anything else that I need to do so yeah I'm just going to relax I don't know whether to eat this Terry's chocolate orange or whether it might upset my tummy whether to give it a miss I might do that just because my tummy is is a lot better but I don't want to overdo it so I'm probably going to put that back in the fridge and save it and just have my ginger tea uh, so yeah I'm going to put a Christmas film on I think um, although I have been watching a street cat named Bob if you haven't seen A Street Cat Named Bob, you need to watch it because it's so wholesome. It's based on a true story, if you don't know, about this homeless uh, drug addict in, in London um, who is trying to get his life back on track and this cat adopts him. And it is such a gorgeous story. And it's been all known in the UK. I mean, I'm sure everybody knows. If you say, oh, do you know A Street Cat Named Bob? A lot of people would recognise it because he... Bob followed James around everywhere, um, even onto buses, into the central London, and it's just such a wholesome story, and he just reminds me of Arthi so much. So I was watching that. Um, it, is, it is quite sad as well, so maybe I will watch something that's a bit cheerful, because it's quite a grey day today. I feel like watching something cheerful. Anyway, I'm going to do that, do next week's bullet journal spread. And yeah, I'm probably going to end this vlog here. I know it's been a little bit all over the place really, a bit here, there and everywhere. I really do hope you've enjoyed it for the most part. You'll have seen me make the soy wax wraps and the homemade chocolate fudge, which was honestly so great. I loved making that. And that's going to be it for this week's video. Now, next week's video i don't know what i'm doing next week um i'll see how i go let me know down below if you would like to see a video um and i will take it from there so yeah with that being said i'm going to go relax watch a movie and rest and i will see you all in next sunday's video bye hello i know that bit of the video was very waffly but i just wanted to say that I will be filming next week because I'm going to make Christmas cookies for people. Um, I'm also going to make Christmas cards, which I'm hoping going to make this week, but it'll be in next week's vlog. And then we will, I will film on Christmas Eve and it will be uploaded on Christmas Day. So, or Boxing Day.
maybe Boxing Day, just so that I have a little break in between. Um, but yeah, I've got a good title. I've got like a good title I could do as well. So yeah, I just wanted to come in here and just say that I will be filming next week, and that will be the end of Christmas 2023.